Hi. In this video, we'll try to see what is the switch case in C programming and how do we use the switch case. Remember, switch is a one of its kind of syntax which can be used to operate or which can be used to check multiple iterations or multiple instances of the same variable. So, for example, if you have input a number and you want to check whether that number is 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 50. So, when the number of checks are much more than just one or two, in that case, you can use switch. However, remember that usage of switch segment or usage of switch case is always optional in C and it's not like compulsory. So, let's try to understand it first, then we'll try to look at one of the examples of switch segment. So, look at the, uh, look at the syntax of switch. So, as I was saying, you will be using the switch case with an expression. This expression is usually a variable which is consisting of some value. And then, for example, let's consider that we have an expression which may consist of constant 1, constant 2, constant 3 or some such values. So, the syntax is like this, switch, parenthesis, the expression or the variable, then opening and closing curly bracket and then inside it, you have to write down case. Here, you will write down the value you will give a colon and then you will write whatever statements you want to execute and then there is a break statement. This break statement makes sure that after execution of this case, the particular case is broken and the program comes out of this curly bracket right over here. Now I know this is a not so friendly way to understand switch and therefore we will try to understand with a program. So let me show you a code of it so that it will become much more clearer. Now let's try to create a calculator. Okay, While creating a calculator program, what we want to do is we want to accept uh, uh, one of the symbols plus, minus, uh, divide and multiplication and based upon which symbol is accepted, we want to perform some operation. Okay. Let's try this. I will save this program as switch trial. As always, hash include stdio.h void main. Let's take some variables int a1, comma a2. These are the two variables, for example, to save uh, the number which we are accepting from the user. Then let's take int result. That's the uh, that's the result variable where we will be storing the result and then let's take a character op character op is uh, the character which we will save or it is the variable where we will save the input given by the user so let's try it out printf enter first number new line scanf percent d comma m percent a1 similarly what we'll do is enter second number we'll give another new line here and scanf and save it into variable a2 now printf enter the operation so plus minus divide or multiplication so enter the expected operation okay now what is user supposed to do user is supposed to give one of these four symbols after this point so we will accept it as percent c because it's a single character that we are going to receive and store it in a variable called op op now, all we want to do is we want to check what consists or what is present in OP and based upon that, we want to perform some series of operations. So, it goes like this. And here, I will just write down OP. So, we will just look at the syntax and then we will try to write a program according to it. So, we have written switch, we have written expression. Now, curly bracket, case. So, first case is 
plus symbol. So I'll just write plus and then colon here. Then we want to write executable statement here. So case plus what we want to do is uh, result is equal to a1 plus a2 printf slash n slash n addition of percent d and percent d is equal to percent d comma a1 comma a2 comma result we printed the result out of it next we want to do is break then we write down case minus same operation just the difference is or the same statements the difference is in operator now we want to do subtraction and i'll just write down here subtraction then what we have case multiplication again all same except here we'll have multiplication symbol and here we'll write down multiplication of this and this is this lastly what we have is case division operator <clears throat> so here we'll write down division of percent d divided by percent d is equal to percent d getting it now i'll just zoom out a little bit so this is how your case statements will be shaped up remember this break is important because this break will tell compiler to stop executing this case switch after or switch case after this line now uh, there can be one more situation where we have given some wrong input how to deal with that we'll see that in a moment but first let us try to run this code enter first number mm, 65 enter second number 32 enter the expected operation okay what's the problem scanf didn't work percent c and op okay i think i gave double enter symbol over there just a moment enter first number Enter second number. Okay, scanf is not coming through. So enter the expected operation. Just remove these brackets. Scan f percent c comma m percent op. All good here. Let's check what is happening. Mm -hmm. It's not working. Just give me a moment to check. Okay, I have seen uh, the problem. What happens is when you are trying to accept a single character using scanf function, then uh, the thing that happens is whatever are the previous new lines in the display buffer they are accepted as a character so to avoid it or to remove that problem so see whenever i am doing this what happens is we have 45 and enter then second number is 32 and then enter so this enter stays in the memory and it is accepted as a character in scanf so to remove that just give a percent or just give a space before scanf that will do our job just give a simple blank space before scanning a single character now we don't have to worry much about it because this happens in c programming and not in embedded c because we don't have a scanf function at all just make sure put a space when you are accepting a single character through scanf now let's run it so enter the first number 32 enter the next number 65 enter the expected operation let's add a addition operator addition of 32 and 65 is 97 working correct let's try it again so i'll give this new line now enter first number 45 enter second number 3 enter the expected operation let's put uh, asterisk for multiplication 
45 and 345 multiplied by 3 is 135. The switch case working smooth. The problem is if you don't give one of the uh, four expected operators, if you give something else, for example, let's say, uh, let's say dot or J or K capital, which is not one of the four expected operations. So what happens after that? Nothing. Nothing happened. No switch case is executed and the program simply skipped. But you can choose that if you don't get one of these four operators, then you can choose to print something else. Indicate or tell the user that it's some kind of error that you have encountered so that it can be rectified. Now, the way to write it down is very simple. So if none of the conditions in the switch case execute, then you can write down case default. Default means what? If none of them execute, then this one will be executed. Printf slash n slash n invalid operator entered. Now this is default case. It means it will execute anyhow. It will execute even if none of the conditions are true. But we make sure that it will execute only when these four operators are missing or one of these four is missing by this break statement. Because this break statement what happens? Every case is broken immediately after execution. If you don't break the case, then this one will be executed anyways. We don't want that. So just write your program like that. So case, 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 break after every statement. So case default, printf invalid operator entered and then again break. Let's run this code now. error sorry this is not written as case default it is written as just default okay let's run enter the first number enter the second number and give some different operator over here for example uh, i'll give dot and hit enter so what it says is invalid operator entered so if you don't give correct operator like one of the four operation symbols then it will say invalid operator even if you put some other number or anything then you will get a proper warning message that you have entered invalid operator now here we have done it for uh, particular letters or ascii characters the same can be done for numbers also remember case will not be able to detect the range of numbers larger than or smaller than it will only work when the value of this expression is exactly equal to what you have mentioned in your case. Try this program and a few more programs which I am giving in exercise and the switch case will be clear to you. Thank you for watching this video.